Okay, so I gotta get to the bridge now. I gotta get to the crew deck to install the singularity core on the ship that we supposedly have. But I also kind of partially want to explore a bit of the ship. I want to I want to try and find some things because I realized that I went through I think it was engineering and I never found the thing about Nicole because it said that she was an autopsy room. So I kind of want to go there and see if I can find the autopsy room. But I also got a bunch of shit I got to drop off and take care of, so I'm going to knock all that out. And yeah, I, I mean, logically speaking, I should stick with the story. But this is a game where they gave me open world privileges, so I'm going to use my open world privileges. Um, let's see. Melee attacks can knock enemies prone, basically turning me into a fucking powerhouse. What about this? Uh, greatly increases ammunition capacity. What about my suits? Uh, really, the only thing I want from the suits is the air. So that I can explore out in the open more. So I'll definitely do that. What's the flamethrower upgrades looking like? Greatly increases fuel capacity. I don't use the Ripper. What about the Force Gun? I'm sure this thing needs more damage, right? Um, I think what I'm gonna do applies damage to time or over applies damage over time to each shot. I'm definitely gonna do this, and then two more. Uh, damn it. And then the next time I get two, I can get this thing. And that'll help out. Okay. Now let's go to the store, sell what I have. I also want to see... Before anything. Objectives. Is there a way to... Okay, side mission. Find autopsy location engineering. Premeditated malpractice. Scan tissue sample. Can I... Navigate open journal. Okay, so I can track them. So I'm gonna, st I'm gonna do a couple of these. You're not a fine chief. Engineer Rosu's rig and find tram supervisor Benson's rig. Somewhere in engineering. So it makes sense for me to head to engineering because I can find the autopsy room and then I can find Rosu's rig. So that's what I'm going to do. Hang on. Wait a minute. I do not hear anything. And then I hear a scream. But that's not in here, so I should be good. There we go. All right, plenty of money. But do I want to waste it all right now? Force gun amplifier, contact beam upgrade. I should get the pulse rifle upgrade now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. And then I'm going to get... What's my ammo looking like? I'm not too bad on ammo. I could be worse, but I'm not too bad. So I'm gonna do... One health pack. There we go. And then... Two power nodes. I guess I gotta hit that twice. I know I literally just blew through all my money. 
but I feel like I should be good for the majority of the game. So I'm allowed to splooge myself a little bit. All right, that should upgrade the pulse rifle. And what do you do? Greatly increases rate of fire. I'm not too worried about rate of fire. Uh, but like I said, the ammo capacity is definitely a bonus. There we go. All right, I am ready to tackle some engineering. Oh, and then it changed. Okay, so I like that. So, I just needed to be able to focus on each objective individually. But I've been focusing on the main story, and that's why nothing's been happening. So, we'll tackle a couple side missions. See if I can knock out some uh, new information. Maybe I'll find Nicole again. Because I'm clearly hearing her. I... They're here. Yeah, I know they're here. They've been here the whole fucking time. Okay, so the question is, should I take the tram or should I walk? Because, like I said, the entire ship is connected. Uh... uh so that's the tram. Uh, change floor. I'm going to take the tram. As much as I want to explore more, which I am exploring more, I just think it's smarter to uh, currently stay. Wait, what is... Oh, I have to... Wait, is this the medical... It's locked. I haven't been there. That's the crew deck. I have to unlock the crew deck before I can get there. Mining engineering. All right. Da, 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 da. Spa service. Relief begins with relaxation. Free yourself. Well, at least this ship is full of people that honestly have nothing but positive things to say about each other. I told you. Yes, you did tell me. Random writing on the wall. I kind of also want to go outside and explore space a bit more. Because I didn't even now think about it before. There's also uh, the USG Kellyan. After it exploded, I technically had access to the area where it landed. Okay, so we got to find this odd top thing, right? Oh, come on. My aim is not that bad. I heard you. Oh, I hear you. Come on, show me which one. Give me that. Punk ass bitch. Where am I going? That way. Alrighty then. Okay, so I'm in engineering. That room's got to be around here somewhere. I'm just going to follow the GPS until I find it. Obviously, it was hidden well. So... Wait, wait. Wait, did I honestly not come in this room? Brennan. Rig identifies the subject was junior engineer David Swenson. The subject was dismembered after falling into machinery, allowing... God. So sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Postmortem spasms. Oh Nicole, that's not what that is. That's not what that is. It, he's he's not dead. You only cut off two limbs. The chest contains a yellow bile seen in other specimens. I've seen this bile react to dead or bioprosthetic cells. The dead tissue is absorbed, recombined, then reanimated. Um, Nicole, don't turn your back to this thing. Nicole. The bile shares genetic markers with human DNA and that growth on the walls. It's all connected to the marker from Aegis 7, but... Oh, how? she's gonna knock it over. It's on the floor, so she's Dr. gonna knock Kine's that tray over. Dr. Kine has vanished. Unless he's with the survivors on the mining deck. You'll rest easy now, David. I promise. No, he's about to get back up. Don't be anywhere near... Well, damn. Okay, so... Find Kynes mining deck hideout. Oh, now I gotta go to the mining deck. Did I seriously not come in this one room? I'm pretty sure my ass walked to the end of the hallway right here, turned around and walked away again. Control station. Telling me to go that way, so clearly I'm going this way. Ripper blades. I don't have any power nodes, do I? No. Okay, so there's no reason for me to stop. Uh, calibration room. Yeah, so we're gonna go here first. Because if I need to go to the calibration room second, there's no reason for me to stop. So I, I probably needed to come in here. But decided to follow the story and was not paying the fuck attention. So now... Now I just need to load up the next one, which is on the mining deck. Which is here. Track objective. Actually, no, I need to find the rig. Okay. We'll find his rig and then we'll hit mining. Uh, it's gonna make me trek through the entire ship to find this crap. Watch, there's gonna be more objectives where I gotta come back through here, too. I just... Oh, okay. And here it is. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Like a champ. See, I was about to comment that the dude's, uh... Dude's hand is right there. Engineering log. Chief Engineer Ariel Rousseau reporting. Centrifuge maintenance is... Oh, what was I saying? Uh, I haven't slept right since they brought that marker on board. I'm a little, uh, uh, uh... The only thing I remember clearly is that engine inspection. I went into the chamber, and instead of the primary engine, there was... It was a heart. A heart the size of the room, just... Pumping and pumping. And Henderson said something, and when I looked back, it was a machine again. But I can still hear that pumping in the distance. It's almost peaceful. Could that help me sleep? Oh, if I can get close enough. Yeah. Go right inside, maybe, where it's warm and dark? Ooh, yeah. That makes sense. So wait, did she? Is she the one that, no, because, hang on. Uh, that's a chapter, destroy the barricade, growth, Kendra's alive, uh, his own teeth, engineering refuel. I was looking for Nicole's log to see if, like, I at least had an audio recording of the log. But essentially, if 
find Tram Supervisor Benson's ring. Wait, is that just the next one? Yeah, that was just the next one. I still want to do... Let's, let's follow this out to the tram. And then what I'll... I'll go from there. Where am I going? It was a sloshy, slimy area. Here we go. So, we'll follow it out, but if I end up in mining instead, that's where I'll go. There we go. Keep my ears open. That's not creepy at all. Stop doing that. Alright, back to the tram. It's a lot easier to get all this stuff when you can free roam after it. Hey, Tram. Uh, I'm going this way. Actually, is this? This is the mining deck. Yeah, so while I'm here, because I love doing side missions. Go. That should be this way. Hopefully it's not too far. I'm getting, I'm a little comfortable. I was gonna say, I'm getting a little comfortable with where I'm going. And it's making me, not intentionally, but it's making me drop my guard. Okay, I gotta go down, down. Yeah, so I'm kind of dropping my guard unintentionally because I'm just so used to like going through this one time. I'm not, I haven't been through the ship three, four times in, in a row. In the original game, you come through twice, but it's from the story. You come through the ship once, you do a bunch of stuff, then you come through the ship again to finish the story. But this is, this is entirely new territory for me, going back voluntarily through these areas. It's still fun, though. I'm having a lot of fun just doing the side missions and opening up the story. Why did it have to be on the bottom of the room, though? My next playthrough, I'm going to just focus on the main story. That's another reason why I want to do all the side missions that I can. Because if I play through this again with upgraded stuff, I want to make sure that I'm focusing entirely on just the story. Unless for some random reason it's absolutely vital that I follow the main story, letter by letter. I actually think the Plasma Cutter is doing a shit ton more damage. Yeah, this way. This room... Was this room always like this? Or did I just not come through here? Click up all the Plasma Energy. Thank you. Oh, I love the Plasma Energy. Plus, it's also the kick of, like kicking of the body parts around that's really icky. Okay, so it's one of these rooms. Well, let's just uh, go one at a time, I guess. Again, I'm pretty sure I just completely avoided this room and followed the main story. Oh, get off me! Get off me, you bitches! Get off! Come on! Oh my god! Damn! I pulled out the flamethrower to torch them, and then when they latch on you, you can't fight back. That's hogwash. 
and then you insult me by giving me flamethrower ammo. Fuck! Bitch. Drag my ass all the way down here. Alright. Next room. Is this it? the message. Okay. How you doing? Good. You were right, Isaac. The Ishimura is a great ship. I'm so lucky to be serving aboard her. We'll enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac, thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far because you made me stick with it. Well, just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting in the range of the relay. Isaac. 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 Hello, Nikki. Great. <laughs> Aww. Log retrieved. Okay, so. Record then. What difference does it make now? Terrence. I know the marker is responsible for the outbreak. I need to understand how. It's signal. When it pulses, that signal can trigger alterations in genetic code. Neural structure, even. you felt it, haven't you? But how do I stop it? Mercer must know. He's taken all his marker research up to his room on the crew deck and sealed... No, no. Sealed it? Do you know how? Please, I need Mercer's data. No, he'll kill you. I won't have more deaths on my conscience. Unitology was all I had after I lost Amelia. Look what it's come to. Terrence, listen. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far because you made me stick with it. Well, just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You loved Amelia as much as I love Isaac, but if I can't cure this outbreak, I'll never see him again. Please help me. Three, nine, two, seven, seven. He must get into Mercer's room. That code should still work. Thank you. Here. These are safer with you. Dr. Brennan. Nicole. The only thing Mercer ever feared was death. Now, I doubt he's afraid of anything. Okay, so... That's a bit to unpack. Couple things. That message between... Isaac and Nicole was from the set. It was the op opening audio log from the second game. And it's so cool that they added that to this game because it makes sense. That recording would be on the ship at the time. But also adding that it was. She used it to convince Kai to help her. That's just, I, I like that a lot. That's really cool. All right. But it also means that if they do decide to go through and make the... Oh, that room's clear. If they do decide to go through and make the second game, they don't need to add that audio log to the... Wait, what's that? There were only two accessible rooms? Maybe this stuff wasn't here when I first came through. Maybe the first time I come through, if I don't hit this room soon enough, this all gets filled up. That would kind of make sense. Ow, bitch. 
Oh fuck. Ow, bitch! Motherfucker! Ow, stop hitting me! You guys suck! Is Tubsy Wubsy still alive down here somewhere? I mean, technically not alive, but also. I just think it's really cool. Uh, but I also noticed that the indicator for the next mission was red, which means that this is, it's in the living quarters. I can't reach it yet until I get to the crew deck, so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one and then I'll get back to the main story. And yeah, medical. medical. It makes sense to go to medical. That's where all the, uh, the thingy bobbers are. Scanners and shit. The long, long ride. Now arriving at medical. Which door opens? Is it left or right? Mercer, are you still running things down here? Because if you are, I need you to fuck off. Makes sense that I would come to this room to scan shit. So let's just go ahead and knock this out. I'm hoping that some of these side missions don't just add to the story, but also like add functionality to the game. If that makes sense. Alright, going. Oh, here we go. Beginning DNA analysis. Match found for Brand Harris, mining contractor, Aegis 7, registered physician, Dr. Charles Mercer. Of course he was. Warning. Severe DNA abnormalities found. Rig tracking is available to trace possible contagion. Authorize. Possible contagion. Harris, what did Mercer do to you? Authorize. Sinking logs and points of interest to rig locator. Thank you for your commitment to public health. Yeah, well, I'm all about that public health. All right, so the next mission should be find Harris ICU bed. This is gonna be way back at the start. Again, it's just a lot of back and forth. But yeah, that little device on the table, I wouldn't have naturally thought it'd be that. I think it'd be some kind of giant space age machine. There we go. All right, so we'll see where it is. We'll see where it goes. Again, I was talking. We will see where it goes, uh, but I'm pretty much gonna head right back to the main story. So, 
Oh wait, no, it's back here. Yep, it's in here. I'm just glad the hunter's not running around on the medical deck. I don't need to be dealing with his shit today. Oh, that's to the morgue. I was like, did I? ER Hallway B. Yeah, so. I have been through here. Around the corner. The fuck was that? Pick a spot! Oh, is this it? Holy shit, you scared the fuck out of me! Get the fuck out of here! I thought you were dragging on to me. Uh, that was recording. Here, look up for me. Just a sliver of bone between us and the Marcus secrets. For that purpose. It won't be like ages seven and that unpleasantness. It wasn't worse when I, when I did that. This errand you want me to do in ore storage. The miners won't like it. They're probably as narrow-minded as the miners of the colony, yes. For hunting someone. For being a little different. Don't look this A good scare. Um, no. Doctor, yeah. you're not supposed to scare people. That's not yeah, your... <laughs> no, that's not your job. Put the nail gun down, Doctor. No, don't end the recording. I needed that. So, are you gonna send me to mining or storage in fucking mining? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. What? What the fuck? That is Mercer's office. This guy still here? He is. Poor guy. Hey, we did it, man. We we stopped at the thing in food storage. We saved the air quality. It was it was fantastic. Clearance confirmed. Y'all stop making noises. Okay, so I think it's down here I need to go. Yeah. Okay, so from what I'm understanding, which isn't a lot, uh, he, the other guy, uh, what's his name, Brett Harris, he essentially, he was skeptical about it, but then the marker showed him everything he needed to see. Why are you moving? 
Don't move. Don't do that. Don't be weird. Don't make this weird. All right, well, that... See, I don't... Mentioned doing Aaron and ore storage. I just came from the mining deck. Uh, I'm not going to go to the mining deck. I'm going to keep going with the storage a bit more. I will try to finish all the side missions before the end of the game. But I definitely just want to... I just want to get more of the story. So, we are now going to set up the objective so I know where I'm going. I think I gotta go to the bridge, yeah. The bridge. So I'll go to the bridge, that'll lead me to the crew deck. Am I gonna have to fight Unitologists? That would be an interesting twist. A bunch of crazy armed Unitologists in the first Dead Space game. And you gotta fight them. I would absolutely... I mean, I don't condone killing innocents, but I'm pretty sure Unitologists at this point just don't give a shit. Listen to my heavy feet, stomp, stomp, stomp. Listen to my heavy feet, stomp, stomp, stomp. Alright, so crew deck is gonna be... Wait, what? Oh. It was that door. Where oh, are you over here? Why oh, are you behind me? What the fuck, Richard? <laughs> Eat it, bitch. I thought that sound came from behind me, which is why I turned around. Only to realize that it was only then behind me. I knew you were here. Where are Yep, I'm on the other side. Okay. This is another thing I enjoy, is, like, just the additional areas to move around. Like, this is a... I haven't been down here before. This is a whole different area. It's like I'm... It's literally like I'm crawling through the guts of the ship to get to where I need to go. <laughs> oh, Benson's right. How about that? Tram supervisor. Oh, wait, was that? I thought this is where I needed to go. Was this not? I'm confused. It is, okay. I just happened to find the rig that I was looking for. The fuck? Oh, is that upstairs? I'm gonna go upstairs and there's gonna be a necromorph standing over my head. Guess not. I'm gonna take all your credits. Oh yeah, it was that vent right there. Am I about to be attacked? I feel like I'm about to be attacked. 
What is it that... Okay, so duration is stasis duration. Energy is stasis energy. And size is stasis zone. Uh, rate of fire. Stop doing that. You know what? Um... I'm gonna have some damage to the, to the flamethrower. If I can, if I can make the flamethrower an effective weapon, I'll start using it more often. I mean, at this point, aside from a few other items, I don't really see a whole need to. Uh... Isaac, I'm losing you. Something on the crew deck must be interfering with the signal. Guess what that something is. If the marker's active. Shit. The crew deck is locked down, but the deck supervisor might have an override key. The last location I have for her is the gym. How long will it take to install the singularity core on that shuttle? Not long. If no one tries to stop me. Hurry. We can't leave the marker in their hands. Oh, did you hear that? She didn't. She. She wasn't too concerned about the marker before. She was just like, shit, we just need to get out of here. But then she's like, the marker is in enemy hands. We need to get it out of there. Suspicious Kendra. Also, hi, Tram. Sorry, I wasn't trying to ignore you. I was just listening to the message. So I got to get to the gem for the rig control. Right. I remember this room being pretty much as fucked up as it was in the original. Stasis pack that I probably will never use. Just gonna, excuse me, don't mind me. I probably need the key card for that. Y'all, you guys aren't using that. There's no reason to have it there. Just, uh, don't mind me if I break it. Do I have any items to sell? I do not. No store. Also, I feel like I should dispose of all these bodies. Is there a vent around? There is. All right, give me just a minute. Approximately 10 hours later. All right, that should be everybody. I can't pull you guys down, can I? Nope, can't pull you down. But... That's a little fucked up. I'm not going to fuck with that. <laughs> like, I haven't already done some fucked up things in this game already. Okay, so it should be... I'm just making sure. Just making sure. All right. Now, if an infector comes in here, I'm the only fucker he's going to fuck with. Find this gem. If that's where I need to go. Oh, there's more of you? Why can't y'all do this shit in the same way? All I did was open a vent. I need you to cooperate. Thank you. I'll, just, I'll take that. Not what I was trying to do, but I'll take it. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bop your head against that. Oh, sorry. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. I mean, I'm putting you in a hole on purpose. I'm not hitting your head on purpose. Sorry. See, I probably do not need to be doing this. This is absolutely pointless. But why take the chance? Why take the chance? Yeah. 
All right, I think one or two bodies should be fine to just leave out. So you guys are the lucky ones. You guys, you guys get to transcend or whatever it is you guys have been signing up for. Clearance confirmed. Oh, I'm glad I had level three clearance on a floor where I should clearly have level three clearance. <gasps> the next rig is gonna cost me a fucking arm and a leg to get it, but I'm gonna get it. <laughs> 